This is an interesting question where we're given a speech signal with a given spectrum and we're asked to digitize it and we're asked to choose two things the sample rate and the bit depth and we're given a range of possible values for this and we're, we're told that there's a maximum bit rate supported by the channel of 130 kilobits per second so you've got some kind of analog signal that's first going to be sampled and then it's going to be converted to digital so that's our quantization and here we'll end up with a bit stream and we're told that there's a limit of 130,000 bits per second imposed by the channel. So what are the settings for our sampling and our quantization? What sample rate should we choose and what bit depth should we choose? And choosing these two things is, is a, common, a common choice you need to make. So not just in communications engineering, but in audio engineering. And even if you're setting up your sound card, so here we've got a sound card, a sound blaster here, we've got a sound recorder on a Mac. So very often you need to set the sample rate and the bit depth. There's the sample rate, there's the bit depth. Sample rate and bit depth. So here we're setting up a microphone sound recorder or a sound card so it's something fairly common so how would we choose that how would we choose these two numbers so you need to remember that the um, bit rate is the product of these two numbers the sample rate and the bit depth so you can write that out i've created a little table here so we can actually write it out we can say well the bit rate equals the bit depth times the sampling rate. That's how many bits are being generated every second. Now, the sample rate is determined by the highest frequency in the signal. So this is a voice signal, so it's speech. We can see that most of the energy is here. So we have very little energy up here. So even though it looks like the highest frequency content is 5, there's very little energy here in the region uh, between 4 and 5. So keep that in mind as we populate this table. So we multiply the bit rate times the um, sample rate. So for example, if we were to sample at 8 kilohertz with a bit depth of 2, then the product of these two would be 16 kilobits per second. 8 times 4, 32. and 56 and we're told that the highest rate supported by the channel is 130 so these three will all be supported 192 100 256 these are um, too fast for the channel but let's carry on Let, let's populate the rest of the table so 11 times 2 11 times 4, 11 times 8, 11 times 16, just using my calculator, 11. again, so these three will be supported, beyond that, no, let's carry on, so 16 times 2, 16 times 4,
16 times 8, 16 squared, 16 times 24, Clearly, this side of the table isn't going to be suitable. going. Clearly those won't be suitable. So which of these is less than 130? That's what we're looking for. Which of these is less than 130? So it looks like we have this group here. These are less than 130. So these are the permissible combinations of bit depth and sample rate. These are the numbers that can be accepted. Okay, now what we want is the best. The question was, which of these is the most suitable? Which of these should we be using for the maximum quality? So what we want is those numbers closest to this border here, because these, this is the border between what's permissible and what isn't. So we clearly wouldn't choose two bits at 16 kilohertz, we would rather choose 16 bits at 8 kilohertz. So clearly 32 is better than 16, and the 64 is better than 64, and 128 is better than 64. But how do we compare 128 and 88? Which of these should we choose? Should we choose the 11 kilohertz? So the 11 kilohertz gives us up to 5.5 kilohertz of bandwidth because the Nyquist rate obviously is twice the highest frequency. So if we sample 11 kilohertz, that'll give us 5.5 kilohertz of bandwidth, whereas the 8 kilohertz, that will correspond to um, 4 kilohertz. But we can see there's hardly any energy in this part of the spectrum between 4 and 5. So given the choice of um, 11 kilohertz and 8 kilohertz, I think it would be best to choose 8 kilohertz because you get the uh, benefit of 16 bits per sample. And 16 bit is a much higher quality than 8 bit. So um, just as a little comparison, let's make, make a little note here that um, this will give greater bandwidth but more noise. And by noise, I mean quantization noise. And the quantization noise comes because we have a fewer number of bits. Fewer number of bits means a greater step size. Greater step size means um, a greater quantization error. Whereas here, we have um, slightly less bandwidth.
but also less noise. So as a result, the quality of the audio reproduction will be better. So as an answer, the answer said choose the combination. The answer would be 11 kilohertz and 16 bits. If we go back to the question, the question is select the digitization settings. So I'd say the correct digitization settings would be um, 8 kilohertz and 16 bits per sample. That would be your final answer.